pretty cool. Yahoo! Made it to Stone Mountain. And our first thing we see is the T-Rex. He's gone herbivorous. Here Jojo goes. Go for it, Jojo. Just doing the little ropes course. You gotta grab onto the two ropes and walk across the middle one. Here I go. Doing good, sweet pea. Mm-hmm. Now the fun part. <laughs> well, now you gotta grab on and change grips when it halfway through. Well, the next one is looks like you have to grab different ropes across. Here she goes. As much as she walks on her tiptoes, you figure she's got, got to have pretty good balance. And she's done. Good job, Joy Joy. There you go, Sam's doing the climb for about like the sixth time already. Let's see if he's got plenty of energy to fin do it again. He's really enjoyed these climbing courses. Sam. Huh? What? Sure. We got a brachiosaur up there. Pretty cool. There we 
you go. Selfies. Oh, yeah. look. We call that one egg. cheese. What? What's that? Our velociraptor in the egg. We call him cheese. Oh, his name is cheese. See the Velociraptor? Does it move? It's a Dimetrodon. Yeah. We're in North America. We're in North America. We live in North America. Look at that, Mommy. And Europe. We used to live here. The Dimetrodon. There's a large four leg condor. Look, it's got that. Like, yeah, Parasolophus. Discovered in North America. Hooray. It's a place nearby. Sam, there's a Dilophosaurus down here. Yep, here we come, up onto the T-Rex. There's one over there! There's a Triceratops over here. There's dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs. What dinosaur is it? It's a Triceratops. What dinosaur is it? What dinosaur is it? Just moving its tail. There's a T-Rex. There's two rex What's that? That's right. Yeah, that T-Rex is right there. Up oh, there's the protoceratops and the brachiosaur. Yep. Made it all the way to the top. And I'm feeling a little crazy today, so it's overcast, so let's go a little faster than normal, so brace yourselves. It's going to be rocket speed for you here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's right. Watch out. There it is. Look at the power. Look at that. I told you I was crazy. And we're going to get even crazier as we go across the treetops, and we'll look at the carving coming into view on the right side. And then we'll look at the terrible Tower of Doom up ahead, which is a kid's favorite. And here we go, getting up to our 8 miles an hour. And you can see the carving coming to view on the right side. The area around the carving is about eight, uh, uh, 3 acres, which is larger than a football field. It is also 30 feet larger than Mount Rushmore's work, so take that, South Dakota. It's up off the ground 400 feet, goes into the side of the mountain 42 feet. The dimensions of the carving are 90 feet tall by 190 feet wide. The uh, horsemen that you see are Jefferson Davis on the left with his horse Blackjack. The guy in the middle is Robert E. Lee with his horse Traveler. And the mean old guy on the end is Stonewall Jackson. He's riding his horse Little Searle. 
On the uh, Traveler, uh, you can park two full-size buses on the back end of the horse, and the horse would feel no pain. Also, climb a six-foot person into the mouth or ears of the horse, and they wouldn't scratch their heads. Robert E. Lee and his horse together, Traveler, together is equivalent to a nine-story building. Robert E. Lee's head alone is just 15 feet tall. As we zoom up to the top of 825 feet, which is 1683 feet above sea level, you're looking at the world's largest single-piece granite outcropping. Most of the rock is underground. It goes underground about 3 to 4 miles, and out into the surrounding area is about 12 to 14 miles from here. The exposed area that you do see has received some weathering from the sun and the rain, causing cracks and crevices. In those cracks and crevices, the plants like to drop the roots in and hold on tight. Just like you're going to have to do with the Tower of Doom. It's going to shake this car two times. First time for the kids on board. Second time for the adults that are wearing tennis shoes. Hold on. Look at that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Best two seconds of your life just flies right before your eyes. And we're going to get into the station just like we started. And we're going to bang the walls a few times. That's all right. That'll wake up our friends in the back of the car that fell asleep during my inspiring speech. And when you get out there on the rock, be sure to look for the city of Atlanta way out there on the left. And the city in the middle, there's three groups of buildings, and the city in the middle is Buckhead, and the city on the right is uh, Sandy Springs. And for double extra credit, you get to uh, look for the double humped mountain out there. That's uh, Kennesaw Mountain, which is 55 miles away. Thank you for riding Skyride to the top. My name is Don. I got you safely in the air. Yeah, you can see Atlanta in the distance. There's Atlanta. Wow. The city of Atlanta. Wow. Atlanta. Joy, look at that mansion right down there. It's so small. Oh, there's a mansion down there. The kiddos. And they're just obsessed with the water. taking a ride on the train. We were going to do that, but it would put us in getting so late into Myrtle Beach that it really kind of hampered everything. I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing on Monday in Myrtle Beach. It's kind of up in the air. And Tuesday we're going to be taking off and heading to North Carolina and staying the night in Tennessee. So it, it's fun. 